Hi, Janie from Norbergs. Today I'm at Sola Salon and I'm working on a design project here in one of the studios. Today I'm going to be showing you the Regent Metallic look. I've already kind of just about got this room finished, but I'm going to be showing you how to do the second coat on this application. tools I'll be using today are the Corona two and a half inch cool brush. This is my favorite brush. I use this for just about all of my projects. It gives me a nice clean line. It's got a nice short handle. It's lightweight, easy to use. Also, a good quality brush will help you eliminate a lot of taping. Because if you've got a good brush, you can cut in cleanly and avoid a lot of the taping that most people need to do to get a nice clean line. I'll also be using the Sherlock roller handle. This is a great handle. It has a ball bearing mechanism in them which allows for easy, smooth rolling of your paint product. Most roller handles have the pin mechanism with just a roller cage and occasionally your paint product will get down into that pin mechanism and cause your handle or your roller cover to slide instead of roll smoothly across the wall. Okay. So I'll be using the 9 inch roller and also the 4 inch roller handle. I've also used a little bit of a product called frog tape. This tape has a polymer in it that when the moisture from the paint hits it, it expands to give you a tight fit, avoiding the seepage of the paint underneath the tape line. I'll also be using the Polar Bear Roller Cover. This is the recommended cover for the project as it allows the paint to be lifted, which gives you that metallic shimmer. This kind of reminds me of a shag rug. It's got little string fibers that interact with the paint, giving it a nice smooth look. I'll be using the 4 inch cover and also the 9 inch cover for this technique. The paint product I'll be using is the Ralph Lauren Regent Metallic. This comes in a wide variety of colors, anywhere from pinks to purples to blues to greens, not just limited to the silvers and golds. It's a great application for just about any place. I also like to use it on ceilings. With the tray ceilings in so many homes today, it just gives it a little extra sparkle. This is a translucent product, and so as you can see here on the wall, that you can see my overlap marks and a lot of the roller marks. But once I apply the second coat, those will go away. What you want to do with this product is work a 20 inch section at a time. So you'll come in at the ceiling level with your brush and cut in along the ceiling line. I'm just gonna load the brush and just come in along and lay down a nice line. Now you don't have to be exact with that 20 inch, but it is a good rule to remember working with. And then using the 4 inch roller, you'll roll out those brush marks. Loading up my 4 inch roller and coming along and smoothing that out. Working in a 20 inch section, you'll work ceiling to floor. I want to be careful here not to overlap too much. Generally they recommend about a quarter to a half inch section. So I worked in that area and now I'm going to cut in along the cabinet the same way that I cut along the ceiling line. Once again, being very generous with the product. This is one product you don't want to roll out too thin. So coming along as close to that edge of that cabinet with my 4-inch roller as I can, just evening out that line. Once again, loading up my 9-inch roller and filling in the area. Being careful not to overlap too much where I've already applied the wet paint. So coming along the baseboard here, and actually this is the, the normal cutting in technique that I would use. So just coming along. Then I'll come back and lift the paint up with the brush.
I'm also going to roll around this outlet here just because it's kind of a tight area. Then coming in with the 9 inch and finish filling in that area. And once you get to the bottom, it will appear like a column. And then you will come back to the top of the wall and rolling in one smooth motion without applying any more product or any pressure to the roller, roll from ceiling to floor in one fluid motion. Generally here I would recommend if you have a, a roller handle to use that so that you can start at the ceiling and come all the way down. <clears throat> So what I'm doing, notice I have the handle edge facing in the direction that I'm moving. And coming up to the ceiling line, one motion, no additional paint product. This gives an even smooth finish to the product. I'm just kind of jump over that. And I'm just going to come up a little bit and kind of feather it off so that I avoid that line around the outlet. As you can see in this section that I've just finished, there's some areas that appear lighter and darker. Don't worry about these. As the product dries out, those will disappear and you'll have a nice even finish on your wall. Once you finish that section, you're going to continue moving along the wall in 20 inch sections, working until you reach the end of the wall. With this particular product, you don't want to work cutting in the entire area and then coming back and rolling out the section because you will see every brush mark as it dries and you'll have a picture frame effect around your room which will interfere with the look the finished look of the product as you can see this is a fairly simple process two coats of the same product is going to give you this great look just remember the crucial steps beginning on one end of the wall and working across the, the wall until you've finished and also be, being sure to keep that continuous wet edge. If you have any questions about this product or any other product, contact us at Norberg Paints.